Spoiler alert, today we're gonna to be looking inside an RDA while it's functioning. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. In slow motion. Before we get started though, I gotta give credit where credit is due. And uh, Morton Owen is the one who really turned me on to this idea. I saw his channel, it was recommended in the YouTube videos. He has a channel called Vaping with Owen. And he takes a really unique look at RDAs and vaping in general, and he's hyper-focused on airflow, which is something I never really considered before. So I'm going to link to his channel in the description, and if you end up liking this video, you're probably going to enjoy his as well. And he, he has a really nice, unique view on vaping, and I highly recommend checking out Morton Owen's channel, Vaping with Owen. So I had a TM24 RDA, and my goal was to see inside of this while vaping. And so I labbed it for a few weeks, and I came up with a couple different designs, but here is the most recent design of the airflow chamber that I came up with. So basically I started with the top cap of the TM24 and I built off of it and built around it. So that's the exact same shape of the inside of the RDA when fully assembled with fully open airflow, which is how I use it. So here's the airflow slots, it just got extended out, but they come in just like normal. On the front here, I actually epoxied in a quarter inch acrylic piece, plexiglass piece, so it can, you can view it and it's all still sealed. This top portion is for a high powered LED flashlight just to get good high speed footage, which requires a lot of light. On the back, I actually made this a, I have a Goon 1.5 tip uh, that fits right in there. So hit the button on the mod, which is down below. Inhale on this, the light's going down. Take the high speed video of what happens inside the RDA. And it, I'm surprised how well it worked. Um, I got some really good footage and I'm excited to show you guys. So let's go ahead and delve in there and take a look at that. Okay, so here's the setup that I'm using. Basically I have a Twisted Messes 24 Pro Series, which is what I'm vaping right now. And it's what I used in all of the slow-mo footage. The first thing in order to get it attached to the mod securely is to, I use a silicone rubber seal with a little hole in it. And that fits right through where that 510 pin is, and then you just screw that on. There we go. And then here's the contraption that I built. So it's the 3D printed that you already saw the 3D model of on the computer, and that's a just quarter inch plexiglass. And then the drip tip in the back, and in the top you have the light here. And that just fits right over the RDA, and you get a really cool view of inside the RDA. And I'll go ahead and try to hit this on camera here. So just that footage right there in a high speed at a thousand frames a second, it extends that into one minute and 12 seconds. So you get a really good view of what, what happens inside the RDA while you're vaping. It's, uh, well, I'm just excited about the footage. Enough dilly dallying. Let's see the footage, huh? So this is actually the last footage that I took, but I'm showing it first because it ended up being the vape that I like. It's with a coil position right in the middle of the airflow, like right in the center. And when you're looking at this footage, it's 60 frames a second filmed at a thousand frames per second. So it's slowed down quite a bit. And you'll notice that you can see even the fibers moving in the direction of the airflow of where it's all going and the majority is going. And what's really interesting is when you start seeing the bubbles pop up, even the bubbles on the bottom are getting pulled around up to the top for, before disappearing or evaporating, which to me indicates that it's getting uh, sufficient airflow all the way around the coil and it's pulling the air, it's pushing the air around the coil and then up uh, through the drip tip. And honestly, coil positioning isn't something I really thought about a lot before, so it's been real, a lot of fun to look at this more closely. But I've noticed, like, the, like I said, this is the position that I like the best for the coils. And I'll kind of, I found out some certain things about the positioning of the coils, which hopefully um, I'm able to express through these videos. But the next video is going to be with the coil position, the first test I did, with the coil position up higher, um, as you can see here in the picture. And that's where I normally was vaping, these bigger coils. But if you pay attention to the bubbles, you'll notice that the ones on top are actually just kind of sitting there and not really getting pulled through. This next video is really the same, just a second shot of it. And you'll see again the bubbles forming on the top. But other than that, it's pretty much what you'd expect to see inside of an RDA. 
And this next video is the coil position at the very bottom of the RD, like this picture here. And it's interesting just what a minute change in the coil position can do. So you'll notice, first of all, the fibers are just kind of vibrating rather than getting actually pulled up and through um, towards the top of the chamber. And then once the bubbles come in, you'll kind of see, if you look at the bubbles down at the right corner there uh, between the coil and the post, you'll notice that they just kind of boil there once they appear and they just seem like there's no air really getting from like down below the coils and pressurizing them up into the actual airflow. Uh, you'll see here, yeah, it's, it's literally like the juice in that area is just kind of unaffected by the flow of the air. And like it just has to rely on the boiling motion to propel the liquid up into the airstream. That's the only chance it has. And this might be what you like to vape, you know? Like these all, all these different coil positions create different vaping experiences. So I'm not saying like what's best to vape and what's not best to vape. But for me personally, uh, getting airflow around the coils really does uh, seem to be a better vaping experience. And shout out to Avita's daddy for making these aliens and sending them to me. They're real good vape. 0.1 ohm dual coils. And they've been great for these tests too. Well, thanks for watching, and I hope that you found that as interesting as I did. Uh, I find it pretty fascinating. If you have any ideas for, you know, different situations inside an RDA that could this high-speed camera could capture, let me know because uh, it wasn't it wasn't a cheap camera to buy, <laughs> and I'd like to get some use out of it. So if, that's why I kind of made this video as short as I could, just so that uh, you guys get an idea of my setup right now and what I'm working with. And if you have some cool ideas, put them in the comments. I'm sure that's why I like to get the community involved with this kind of thing. I mean, for me personally, I can, I can think of a lot of stuff that I want to do, but I know that if I open it up to the community, that we're going to get way, way cooler ideas than what I could think of on my own. So please uh, put them in the comments what you'd like to see. Um, the camera does go up to 38,000 frames a second. It's going to be really low resolution at that, at that speed. Uh, usable resolutions are probably, you can get up to like 3,000, 4,000 frames per second, so you can get some really cool footage of of the vape um, and what's going on. So anything you guys want to, any ideas you have, let me know, and uh, it's good, good to see you guys again. It's been a while, so um, yeah, all right, we'll, we'll leave it there. I'm not good at closing videos. Cut it.